Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In today's video we are going to teach you how to edit your Windows host file using Notepad. This will help you to temporarily map custom domain names to IP addresses. This might be useful if you are for example developing a website and you are using a temporary domain name or even a custom domain or even when the DNS settings for a domain haven't been updated yet. First thing we have to do is open the command prompt because this is the easiest way to open the file that we need. You can do this by going to start and opening command prompt and you can easily just start typing cmd in the search bar and then open the command prompt but make sure to run it as administrator. Run as administrator is important here because otherwise you won't be able to save your settings. You'll get a command prompt. In the top left corner we can see that the command prompt is using an administrator account which is what you want and the next step is to go to the proper folder which is where the host file is located which is the file you want to edit. I'm going to drop it in the comments so that you can do this the easiest and the fastest way by just pasting it in the command prompt. Once you have hit enter, a notepad file will open which will contain the host file. There are two things that are important now, two things that you need and the first one is the IP address that you want to map and the second one is the domain name that you want to link. The IP address will have to be the real IP address that you want to link to and the the main name can be anything that you can come up with. For example, I'm just going to go with custom.website. I'm going to make up an IP. The IP I'm going to enter is 100, 100, 100, 500. And then the next thing is to enter the domain name. In my case, custom.website. And the next step is to save this file. And once you have save the file it's important to test that the host file is working but that's really easy just go back to your command prompt and type ping and then the IP address of the address that you just mapped and if it works if you get a response it will mean that the host file is working properly and if not you'll have to review your steps again. We hope that this has helped you in some way Maybe it will help you to build that next amazing website. Let us know in the comments if this video was useful. And we're looking forward to hearing from you. Until the next video, Stephen out.